Well, hello, TRM partners, Pastor Philip, my wife, Alberta, and just delighted to be able to share with you another weekly word. It's a good one. It is a good one. And, it's always uh, a good one, though. You know, we're, we're excited about our connection, our divine connection, and and uh, we're just trusting God uh, and believing that God is prospering you and keeping your uh, health steady and long life and and the blessing of the Lord is just overtaking you. And uh, we're we're grateful for what God has done in our lives. He's doing. And uh, still doing. Oh, nonstop flight. But I'm thankful for what he has done. Absolutely. And uh, it's just good to know that God is moving in this ministry and through partnership. And so uh, I want to thank you all for your continued prayer for us while we pray for you and also your financial gifts. They help advance the kingdom. Praise the Lord. You know, when uh, we go out and minister and so on and so forth, people are getting saved, healed. Partners, you're, you're doing that. You're doing that. And so uh, thank you for that. Now, I had a word last week, a prophetic word that I preached, and <clears throat> the Lord quickened me this morning to share that with the partners. Now, mm -hmm. those of you that are a regular viewing audience, you uh, probably heard me preach this. Uh, what is, let's see, that would have been uh, last Tuesday I preached that. And uh, I, the Lord said, share it again, because it's such a right now a word. Or Friday. And uh, Tuesday. Oh, and so right. what happened was I was studying John chapter 12. Sunday. And in John chapter 12, it, was Sunday. it says, and, and, you know, I've talked this many a time yeah. where Jesus said, now is my soul troubled. I said that many times. John chapter 12, verse 27. Mm -hmm. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I unto this hour. That's right. Now, understanding that the word of God is progressive, it's eternal. It is not limited. That's why the Bible says it's not of any one interpretation. interpretation right. uh, certainly, Jesus' soul was troubled at that moment 2,000 years ago when he's about to become the ultimate sacrifice. Be separated from his dad. His all wife. of that, being whipped and beat and crucified and pierced. Uh, and he said... Now is my soul troubled? And, uh, you know, he said in a couple chapters later, my peace I give unto you. Right here he said, my soul's troubled. So it's a substitutionary work for our soul being troubled. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So when I was studying this, Alberta, the other day, uh, the Lord just quickened me to that word now. That's funny. When I was preaching the last time, He quickened me because now faith is now faith. Now it's now faith. It's always now. Always now. When you're right? saying now is now. Well, yeah. Jesus is the head of the church. Right. He's the head of the church, and I like this. Right now, right now, His soul is troubled now because He right. sees people that are sick dying yes. under the curse Life that poverty. are crying out, that are worshiping idols, that and are crying abuse. out for deliverance. And the people of God that have that voice Power to Jesus. them is being attacked by uh, demonic-inspired wicked people. Yeah, Jesus. In uh, all different kinds of formats, government, uh, even in church and uh, just... Uh, yeah. satanic groups or whatever. And so now is my soul troubled. Mm -hmm. See? And uh, 
how can we, you know, there's a lot of tension in the air because of what is going on mm -hmm. as, as God is changing things. Things are being rearranged. Things are being reset. You know, we just taught the partners about being in order. Yeah. You know, how God orders our steps mm -hmm. and how uh, when God orders something, it, it, uh, he orders it, mm -hmm. you know, and he expects what he orders to come and be served on his plate, just like in the restaurant. Yeah. But here he said, uh, but for this cause came I unto this hour, and he goes on to say, That's so good. now, in verse 31, now, he went from now is my soul troubled to now is the judgment of the world. So that tells me that now when, when there's a troubling that, you know, we're connected to God. The Bible says he that is joined to the Lord is of one spirit. And so when he's being troubled in his soul, we have to, we let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. We don't let it get down in here. Right. right? That's good. Yeah. Right. But yeah. we understand that Jesus at the right hand of the Father is just not, he's not up there just, uh, you know, clapping and, and uh, spinning and dancing, even though we know uh, he's a uh, happy person in uh, oh, yeah. his personality. Well, but the Bible says that this. he's angry with the wicked every day. So... There, there's, there's this troubling that's going on, and we're picking it up in the body because the body is connected to the head. And the Lord told me last year Boy, that's so good. that this was the year of judgment. So he says, now, let, let, let me read it like this for to get this point across. From verse 27 to verse 31. Now is my soul troubled. Now is the judgment of this world. Because that now in 27 and that now in 31 is in the same context of the same now. So his soul is being troubled because judgment, because, and now watch this, his soul's not troubled because judgment is coming. He, his soul is troubled because of how his oh, people are being yes. treated. That's right. See? That's right. And he says, now is a judgment of this world now, again, now shall the prince of this world this. be cast out. Mm. Now, Alberta, I believe that the greatest move of God ever. Oh, yeah. Uh, that we are at the brink, mm. if you allow it, the Red Sea. Absolutely. At the Jordan, at the Jericho Walls, Everything, at the flaming yes. fiery furnace, at Goliath. Mm. Everything you can imagine you know just all that is culminated for right and that yes, now yes now. yes the great because great. they didn't have <clears throat> you can't go on youtube and see david kill goliath but what's what's about to hit this planet there you know they got surveillance cameras yeah. everywhere nowadays yeah. right yeah. What what's about to hit oh, this planet God. and you know god can do it all over this demonstration of his spirit He's going to show him, he's going to show himself openly. You know, Fake uh, news can't do anything with it. No, no, <laughs> no. They're, they're going to get blown out of the way. Oh now, my, they're going to be exposed. Now, time. here's what I want to read in the Passion Translation, that verse yeah, 31. Good. It says, and uh, Eric, make sure you put this up on the screen. When, 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 because uh, I want to, something happens when you hear when it and you see it. your eyes on it. From this moment on, that's now. Mm -hmm. From this moment on, everything. Everything. In this world is about to change. For the ruler of this dark world will be overthrown. Let me, let me just say it's this. It's over. Let me say this. If you are born again, and if you're a partner, you're born again, and filled with the Spirit, so on and so forth, you know that the, the election was a ripoff. Absolutely, you have to. Now, why would you trust the same people <laughs> that have uh, said that 
the election. There's no there's no fault with the election that the vaccine is safe. Really? Come on. Why people. would you trust the same Jesus. people that lied to you about that and, and try to, you know, they got all these commercials with all the presidents taking the vaccine and take all this them. stuff, you know, oh, blah, blah, praise blah. Praise God, take them. Listen, we are, it's all propaganda. Well, sure but the is. truth, he goes on to say, Jesus said, Come and on. if I be lifted up, Come was on, he lifted people. up? Yes. Yes, on the cross. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Well, well how do we now? lift him up now? We lift him up in praise. We lift him up by in worship. By his stripes we are healed. We lift him up by proclaiming his goodness. That's right. And speaking the truth yes. about a loving God. Yes. Right? Yes. From this moment on, listen, partners, grab this. Mm -hmm. From this moment on, Everything, Everything in this world is about to change. Now Reset. listen, <laughs> listen, you got to accept change. You have to. Religion welcomed change at their birth. You go to all the revivals, that's where these Methodists and Presbyterian and all these different denominations, they were birthed out of great change by the baptism of the Holy Ghost and signs and wonders and miracles. But then after a while, they refused to change. And they got traditionalized. They're stuck. Right? Yeah. No, no, not all Methodists, not all Presbyterian, but a lot of traditional uh, churches. But uh, I read this in 1 Samuel 3, verse 12. I don't want to go there for the sake of time. But God told Samuel, I will perform everything I said. I like that. Right? Yeah, I Which like I have spoken. And he said, when I begin, I will also make an end. Mm -hmm. That's really good. When God begins something, when he's about to change something, he is about to end something. And that's where, you know, about religion. Religion didn't want to end. We like it like this. We like doing it this way. And God's saying that was that way. It's time to graduate. I got more for you, right? Uh, it talks about, uh, Jesus talked about when there's a hole in a garment, you don't take a new piece of garment no. to try to patch up the old because the new does not agree with the old. With the old. But that, that's, that's so powerful. Do you remember when we first got born again? We had already moved to your mom's house, moved in there. And I guess I was on this thing where I was going to try and make some money, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I I, I found this this home business, and it was patching materials. Yeah, I and remember that. You remember that? Yeah. That's where I first learned, because I never did any of that before. Uh, that's where I first learned that you can't put new material in, in the, the old jeans. You can't put a piece of new denim into the old worn out denim because when you wash it, and that, they were telling me that. And then I remember finding it in the Bible, learning mm -hmm. it from the Bible. And I'm like, wow, because I always see, uh, because, it's, you know, I'm sure I never did that. I, you know, mm -hmm. I learned it, but I didn't get into that business because I wasn't mm -hmm. supposed to make money. And so... Uh, but I always remember, that's where I learned it, because like I said, you know, your mom did all that. My mom never did any of that patching yeah, or anything like that. Yeah, we grew up patchwork like Yeah, well, we never did. I mean, we just bought new. And uh, my Back mom in our day, said, if you had patches, that was kind of like, you know, a stigma of, you know. Poverty. Yeah, right. Now now you got people now you paying pay high dollar for $1,000 for a pair of jeans that are barely together. I had the privilege of meeting Lester Sumrall. Yeah. And uh Lester Summerall he made many statements in that <laughs> in that in that brief meeting that I had with him. He 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 said so many profound things that I've never forgotten. And one thing that he said, he said I've never missed a move of God. Yeah. Never. And at that time, I don't know, he had close to 60 years I guess in ministry or something like that. He's in heaven now, but he was a general of generals. 
That guy would just, he didn't care who it was. He'd just, he'd just shoot straight. Yeah. And he said this. He said, I've never missed a move of God, but it's cost me friends, denominations, denominations. and everything to stay moving and changing with God. Now, God changes not. And because he changes not, he's made everything in seasons. Yeah. Seasons change. Yes. To everything, there is a season. Right now, springtime here in Kentucky. All the flowers are blooming. The leaves are on the trees again, you know, and birds are chirping. I was out uh, walking, Simon, and I saw those two families of geese. They were they, down there. They were together. Isn't that sweet? They were like, ten it was like babies. The, it was, yeah, it was like they were on a field trip. Yeah. The mom and daddy and the mom and daddy and then, and then all the little ones, oh, you know, they the were all babies. together. They're so but, cute. Yeah. But uh, I say they have a picnic when they go over there. God is about to turn this whole world reset upside down, right side up, really, mm -hmm. right by the greatest move. It's ever, not just in America. Ever right, the world. That's right. That's exactly right. And there's going to be a lot of people that people thought were good, they're going to find out they were bad. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of people that people thought they were bad, they're going to find out they were good. And uh, this, from this moment on, when the Lord gave that to me, and, and, and partners, listen, if you, haven't, if you haven't listened to that message, go back. Uh, what did we I name it, it, Eric? it was Sunday, wasn't what, it? What, Change. What was it? What was it named? Change. Change. It's Sunday, go back. Hon. It was Tuesday. It was Sunday. Tuesday. Oh, and, goodness. And so, uh, you need to go back and watch it. <laughs> it was Tuesday. I was. I did watch it a couple so, times. So, uh, in that, I really get in depth about this change. Oh, that's right. I'm, right? I'm, yeah. Which right. I, don't, I don't have time to get into uh, right now, but season, the season that we've known, it, the winter is past. That downtime is past. And uh, everything is beginning to blossom once again. And God gave me that word, that Powerful. prophetic word Powerful. for now. Yeah. So grab a hold of that, partners. Grab a hold of uh, this truth. Let, let me read this in the Song of Solomon. Again, this is the Passion Translation, uh, chapter 2, verse 11. The season has changed. The bondage of your barren winter has ended, and the season of hiding is over and gone. And then in the 13th verse of that same chapter, Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 13, the Passion Translation goes on to say this. Can you not discern this new day of destiny breaking forth around you? Mm, I like that. The right. early signs of my purposes and plans are bursting forth. His purpose and plan for your life, bursting forth. The budding vines of new life are now blooming everywhere. The fragrance of their father of their father's flowers. The fragrance of their flowers whispers there is change in the air. My, my. my goodness. There's change in the air, huh? There sure is. Oh yeah. I, I, you could tell it in the atmosphere. You know, I remember when Here's, you know what's going on? Regional demonic Forces are being overridden by angelic forces, the Lord of hosts. Now, you know, we don't get off into, you know, all this warfare about knowing this and knowing that, but there is, we're fighting the good fight of faith, and the Lord had me release angels. Right, exactly. Down to that capital uh, uh, a few services ago, right? So uh, there is a truth of particular areas being controlled, geographical areas 
being controlled oh, yeah. by demonic forces. It, you know, the, in the book of Daniel, the principality of Persia. Persia yeah. And so you went into Persia, you came under the dominance of that type of yeah. principality, you know, and uh, you got these, and, and so powers. there's, everything's being rearranged. Well, I was start, uh, what I want to say was, when all this pandemic and, and all that mess, when it, when it first started, um, I started hearing bits and pieces about, uh, you know, the socialism coming in, communism, and uh, they were, they were he, they, one of the, I think, I don't remember who, one of the prophets said to be aware of hearing the word reset, because that's what they were, that's what they're, that's this whole plan for years to bring this. Yeah, the one world order. But God is mm -hmm. the one that's doing the reset. So yeah, that's what, what the enemy meant for you. That's exactly because that's what's happening. That's what we're feeling now. The change is because all that demonic. Psh, there is change. Uh, big time. In the, the air. air. Yeah. Arise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to yeah. the higher place. Yes. Yes. For now. Now. Is the time to arise and come away with me. Partners, get ready. You say, Pastor Philip, you've been saying that for well, you years. Bet you should yep. be ready. <laughs> yeah. And not get ready. I am not where I was when I said it years ago. That's right. I keep moving like That's right. Dr. Lester Sumrall. But this one. Yeah. Is 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 huge. It's huge. And we have to let go of the old and embrace the new. Because God said, surely as I live, the earth shall be filled with my glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to pray for you, partners. Thank you, Lord. I would encourage you to uh, go to John 12, 31, and Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 11 and 13, in the Passion Translation. Print those verses out and, 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 and work them down in your spirit. Don't, don't let go of this moment because uh, there's, there's moments that God says things that he uh, anticipates or is an expectation that his people will react at that moment. And if you do, you'll catch that moment um, the momentum of what was released, see? So don't say, oh, I hope I hope what Pastor Philip's saying is right. It is right. <laughs> it's, what the, it's what the Lord's saying, but you got to grab it and act on it and move with it. Father, we thank you for all of our TRM partners. We thank you for this moment that we're living in. The seasons have changed, and I thank you, Lord God, that... You are beginning something and you are ending something. And we thank you, Lord. There's change in the air and we just welcome it. Uh, we pray for our partners, Lord, that they just catch this uh, uh, tsunami wave of change and allow uh, the even the unfamiliar, Lord, the unknown, the regions beyond uh, their minds have ever comprehended the exceeding above and beyond place of ever even thinking about to embrace it and allow that newness of life to come into their destiny life. We pray for them, Lord God. Yes, thank you. Keep Jesus. them safe, yes. healthy, protected, peaceful, and full of your godly wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, partners. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4, where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.